You are watching Go On Shot TV. I'm your host, Emily Moyes. We are still at Peace Island Park for Canola Fest 2016. Leave the light on. Yeah, leave the light on. It's Chris Buck from the Chris Buck Band. It's great to see you. You are from Vancouver, and we were chatting about the rain. Mm. We, we blamed him because he brought the rain with him. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not raining now, though. You've been all across BC, Alberta. Yeah. What's been going on with you? Uh, well, we were at Calgary Stampede a few days ago. We were in Lloydminster last night. We're here at Canola Fest today, which we're super excited about. And tomorrow we're in Prince George, so we've had a little bit of little tour right, here. I need everyone to hand skill and we're all participating in tonight's show, right? And what can people expect to see on stage tonight? They are going to see half Motley Crue, half Garth Brooks, right down the middle. A little bit of craziness with country. Ooh, That's what you're going to see. <laughs> I, I looked you up your bio. You've actually been to the Peace Region before. You were here, was it a New Year's party? Yeah, we played at the casino in Fort St. John, and whoever was there knows what I'm talking about. It was a party that night, so I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces here today, too, which is nice. So you made some friends up here? We, we made a few friends, yes. It was, awesome. uh, we didn't have a show the next day, so we got to hang out with the locals. So. Always more fun. Always. You come here and everyone wants to meet you and shake their hand and talk, so it's That's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. It, because we're so grateful to have you oh. up here and you're such an awesome performer. I, I've seen some of your videos, some of your music. It's very energetic, mm -hmm. it's lively. Like, you guys definitely put on a show. Where do you get the energy for that? Uh, well, long story short, we've been a bar band for eight years, and oh. it was only the last year that we've had some radio success. So we're used, to, I guess, been around maybe the party atmosphere so we try to bring that to our show so you won't hear any slow songs in our set I'll just leave it at that so and do you find the crowd responds well oh yeah absolutely I think that's one of the things how we build our audience is our live show what do you think about Chris Buck oh I think Chris Buck is awesome yeah one of the best bands I've ever seen I know they're amazing live. yeah they are amazing you're friends with him are you I have met uh, Chris on a couple occasions talked to him on social media Tell me about the guys. Are you friends from long, you know, way back in the day? Are they new friends, new musicians? Fill me in. Yeah, well, Michael is from Prince George, actually, the bass player. He's been the original member from the very beginning. Um, I've gone through numerous members over the years, but we've had the same band for the last two years. I'm a, uh, Phil Puxley, banjoist from Quebec, Taylor's from Vancouver Island, and uh, Jesse's from White Rock. So we're kind of scattered yes. all over. And I grew up in Barrie, Ontario, but I live in Vancouver. So we came together and we grew a brotherly bond yeah nice. awesome yeah you find because I've lived all across Canada yeah. too it gets so small especially I work in the media industry yeah. you're a musician yeah. I find everyone knows each other do you find that too I do it's like even like with Tim Hicks performing tonight I hung out with him at CCMA last year and then you know you, you see them again throughout your travels it's, it's really small it's world it's cool yeah give it up for the moose y'all they're one of the first stations to spin this song all the way to top 40, this song right here is called Leave Your Light On. Leave your light on, leave your song. I'm on my way, baby, waiting all night long. I really want to know where you get your influences from, like who you love in the country world. Uh, I've always really loved Keith Urban. Um, I actually grew up, I used to sneak into the bar and watch Aaron Perchette when I was real younger, when I was just a little underage. And I learned a lot from him. He's a great live performer. I learned a lot from him. And then, uh, long story short, uh, karaoke. I ran karaoke gigs for a while when I was a little bit younger. And I started singing country music. And I didn't know I was a country singer until I did karaoke. My voice just sounded country. So <laughs> that's how it all started. So yeah, yeah. So you didn't necessarily get into music because of the country love. It's just, it, it suited you. It suited me, yeah. I just I sang Alan Jackson, Chattahoochee. And I still remember because my friend was like, dude, you sound so country. I'm like, you think so? He's like, totally. And I'm, there it was. <laughs> and country music has changed so much. Do you yeah. like the more traditional or the modern? Um, I, I can't really answer that. I like both. I, I'd say that both of them give me a different vibe. Um, I think country music's really cool today because you have all the different genres into one. You got the pop influence, you got the rock influence, and I think it's just about writing good songs. Good songs that people can, meaningful songs, yeah. <laughs> We're starting to get our music over in China, actually, which is kind of weird, I found out lately. Wow. Our song Giddy Up is actually getting distributed in China, so go figure. So Amazing. I think that'll be pretty cool going overseas and playing for some um, 
you know, different audiences. Yeah. I wonder how they translate Giddy Up into I, I Chinese. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still wondering the same thing, but <laughs> <laughs> apparently it's working. I don't know. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's great to yeah. meet you, and thanks, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. It's Appreciate my pleasure. It. Yeah.